Hey guys, welcome to another video on Code 4. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe our channel and hit that notification bell. This channel is all about educative stuff. In today's video, we are going to look on how to do fifth question in October November 2017, paper 2 3. This question was asked by our subscriber. Without further ado, let's get started. The flowchart below represents a program routine. The array used in the flowchart contains the following data. Name 1 is Jamal, name 2 is Samir, name 3 is Eve, name 4 is Tara. Complete the trace table using the given data in the array. So they have mentioned the value for flag and count, that is flag is 0 and count is 1. So the first question is, is name count greater than name count plus 1? Since the value of count is 1, the question is, is name 1 greater than name 2? So is name 1 that is Jamal greater than Amir. In this case, you have to see the alphabetical order. Is J greater than A? Yes, it is greater. So now let's move on to the next step. So temp is assigned as name count, that is name one. Jamal is now the temp. Name count is name count plus one is interchanged as name count. That is Amir gets the position of Jamal and Jamal gets the position of Amir. Now name count plus one, that is Jamal gets the temp value. Flag is given as one. Next count is added or incremented by one. Is count equal to four? No. Now let's move on to the first step again. Now let's complete the trace table for this process. So first, the flag is zero and count is one. Name one would be Amir, name two would be Jamal, and name three and name four remains unchanged. Eve and Tara respectively. Temp would be assigned as Jamal. Now, the flag is raised to 1 and count is incremented by 1. This is the first step. Now let's move on to the next process. Now count is 2, not 1. Is name 2 greater than name 3? Now Jamal gets the name 2 and Eve has the name 3. So is Jamal greater than Eve? Yes, since J is greater than E. Now temp is name count, that is Jamal is temp. Now name count and name count plus one, that is Jamal and D questions are interchanged. So name count plus one, that is the place of three is the temp, that is Jamal. Flag is raised to one and count is incremented by one. Now let's complete this in trace table. Amir gets the same position. Jamal and D is interchanged. And Tara gets the same question. The temp value is Jamal. So the flag is raised to 1 again and the count is incremented by 1 that is 3. Now let's move on to the next process. Count is now 3. So is name 3 greater than name 4? Is Jamal greater than Tara? J is small than T, so count is just incremented to 1. But since we have not come through this step, it doesn't mean that flag goes to 0. So flag remains 1. Let's complete this in trace table. The same positions as usual. Now the flag is still 1 and the count value is 4. Now they have asked, is count equal to 4? Yes. Is flag equal to 0? No. So we, have, we move to the next process that is from first. That is flag is equal to 0 and count is equal to 1. Now let's write the value of 
name one, name two, name three, name four. Amir, Eve, Jamal, Tara, the temp remains same, Jamal. Now, the value of flag and count is reset to zero and one. So let's write it here, zero and one. Now is name count one greater than name count two? That is, is name Amir greater than E? No, A is smaller than E. So the same questions remain. Amir, Eve, Jamal, Tara. Since there is no change in temp value, it remains as Jamal. Now the count is incremented to 2, but the flag is still in 0. Now is name count 2 greater than name count 3? Is E greater than Jamal? E is smaller than J. So the same question continues again. Now count is incremented to 3 and flag remains as 0. So now the third value, name 1 is Amir, name 2 is Eve, name 3 is Jamal. Is Jamal greater than Tara? J is small than T. So the same values remain again. Now the count is incremented to 4 and the flag is still 0. So as said in the flow chart, is count equal to 4? Yes. Is flag equal to 0? Yes. This is the end of this trace table. The next question. Describe what the algorithm represented by the flow chart is doing. So for this type of question, you have you have to analyze what the trace table tells you. So as I told you earlier, this is based on alphabetical order. This trace table seems to sort it from A to Z. So the answer for this is sorting the names in alphabetical order. This will fetch you two marks. And for the trace table question, that will fetch you 5 marks. This is the end of fifth question. So for the trace table question, we got confused by the marking scheme. But we are sure that this is the answer. Let's see the marking scheme. The marks are provided based on column-wise answer, not based on row-wise. So uh, the answers as per our video will get you 5 marks. So for flag, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 will fetch you 1 mark and the count value 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4 will fetch you 1 mark and the rest are the names which will fetch you 2 marks and 1 mark each. So the next subdivision 5b is sorting the names is the first point and ascending order or a to z or lowest to highest or alphabetical order is the second point. Remember that when it is a 2 mark question Make sure that you write two points. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe our channel and hit that like button. Remember that you can post your doubts in the comment section and we are sure that we would clarify your doubts and make you understand the concepts with these as we just did now. Thank you.